What is up everybody? It's your boy Cap back again with another Road to the Show episode. I think this is episode number 32 and we are here with the glitch in the game, Poppy Cap. We are now here in opening day. If you guys remember in the last episode, we ended the season by taking the day off. And I don't know why the manager did that. But here we are today in opening day for AAA. Still waiting on that call-up. If you guys are interested to see where we are, like compared to everybody else on the roster as part of the Rangers, let me actually show you real quick. So we were go to, to comparison. Let me show you right here. So between the line of the shields and myself, or I'm sorry, Papa Cap, you can see that we're 72 overall and he's an 82 overall, but he's batting only a buck 84 through 11 games. So it's not too much, but still it is, I mean, pretty bad I, to start off the season, you know? Now, if you go to the other starter, Randy Orozarena, I'm thinking to myself, this guy's starting, he's a 73 overall and we're 72 overall. There's really nothing big of a difference between us, but Apparently he's starting over us. Let's take a look at the stats. Not bad fielding, like a B type fielding. High contact, low power. I don't see what's in it. I mean, look at Poppy Cap. He's literally ranked above him. Literally ranked above him. But he's not starting. Left field, Joey Gallo. No reasoning why. It's understandable. And of course, Norman Mazzara and Christopher Emery. Emery, I don't even know why this guy's above us. What's his overall? 70? He's actually a 68, but he's above us. And Nomar Mazzara, I mean, Nomar Mazzara does have some pops. So I'm really not going to fault him there, but I mean, come on. I understand Nomar Mazzara and Joey Gallup, but I mean, the line of the shields or Christopher Emery, I mean, obviously one of them is DH team, but really? I mean, I mean, look at Christopher's fielding. He's at a 43. Why is he starting over us? I have no idea, but we're going to get this opening day started. Let's see if we do well and let's get into the gameplay. All right, here we go. We are going to be playing against the Iowa Cubs. We are the Nashville Sound. So here we go. We're actually going to be batting cleanup today. And it's going to be different. It's going to be a different change of pace. All right, here we go. We're going to be leading off this game batting cleanup. Forcing cutter, slider curve, Sam Belliard. Sounds familiar. So let's see. Pop a cap is going to be batting hey. cleanup. Okay. Fastball at 97. Like I said, we're taking a look at everything. It's a brand new season. Okay, we gotta take a good deep breath and look for something to crush. Come on. Okay, good eye, good eye. Like I said, brand new season. Uh, I do want to explain myself. I know I haven't uploaded in two days the entire weekend, and I do want to explain myself right here. I want to tell you guys that I decided to take like a little bit of a break, as in like a two day break. I was getting frustrated with MLB The Show. I mean, like, there are some games I was doing well, and then some games I wasn't. I'm thinking to myself, what, what's going on? Is it me? And then it's to the point where I just got tired of it. So, you know, I just I just said, you know what, let's take a two-day break, and then uh, let's just, you know, forget about ranked seasons. Let's just have a good, good weekend, not stress about it. And then we decided to upload on Monday, which is today. So here we go. Hopefully we can hit something well. Outside fast, well, pulled early. It doesn't have a chance to get out, and it's going to be caught at the warning track. Man, I was hoping for that to get out. So we're, like I said, we are DHing today, so we have literally nothing to worry about on the field except just hitting. So we flied out, and it wasn't really hit hard. We swung, we pulled an outside fastball, but we're going to take that fastball the other way for a single. So there we go. There's our first hit of the season, one for two. Hopefully this is a good start for the rest of the season. Third at bat, stepping up for the glitch in the game. All right, Albert Alze, who's actually a rookie in this year's game, or I'm sorry, in this year's season in real life. Here he is for the Cubs in AAA. There we go. All right, taking a look at a good pitch. Now, last year we were really, really aggressive, and when we'd swing at bad pitches, they were pretty bad. But this time, this year, we're going to look to actually swing at some really, really good pitches. So here we go. Another high fastball. That's not, not going to work here. So here we go. Two high fastballs. He's trying to attack us maybe to get under something. Hopefully that doesn't happen here. So here we go. 2-0 count to the glitch. Come on, man. Look for something to crush right here. And that's going to be a high fastball. We were definitely on it. We were so good that it was a fly out to right field. I honestly thought we got all of that one. But doesn't seem to be the case. 
We are losing here 5-2, to two, and I am actually leading off here against AV Mac. So, there's a four-seam splitter and a slurp. So, he's definitely going to beat Nasty, but we got to be persistent. We got to be cautious of whatever pitches are thrown. And, you know, we're looking for that one pitch, the fastball, as he throws a slurp right there. So, here we go. Like I said, guys, I do apologize for taking that two-day break and not even advising anyone. So, like I said, I do apologize yeah. right there. But uh, hopefully uh, we get back on track. Uh, I'm going to be playing maybe a little bit of different couple games. I know I asked you guys if I, you wanted to see me play Fall, uh, fall Guys as uh, we get a late single the other way, which is very weird. But it's going to work out for a hit. And uh, yeah, I think Fall Guys will come out tomorrow. And their Wednesday will be pack opening. And Thursday will most likely be my first ranked seasons game in uh, what seems like a long time. So I hope that's uh, that happens here. And I hope you guys enjoy it because, like I said, I'm going to be the show's been a little bit frustrating for me. You know, with the perfect, perfect flyouts and good, good timed outs, even though I'm almost on the ball. But uh, it's a little bit frustrating, you know. But like I said, hopefully you guys do. It's it's going to be like an experimental change as well. So it's not going to be a permanent change either. It's just going to be a, like a little bit of a test to see how things go on the channel. But uh, hopefully you guys stick out with me for the ride. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys there. All right, here we are now. And the game is over. We take our first loss of the season. Not what we had in mind. All right, let's play the next game. Maybe we'll do better. Here we are for game two, and it is raining here. It's raining like cats and dogs here at Majestic Green Stadium. Scotty Montenegro is going to be pitching for the I.O. Cubs. Here is the glitch in the game. So here we go, guys. Uh, today is actually August 17th. The day I'm recording is the day I'm also uploading. Hopefully you guys had a good weekend. I know I had like a good and relaxed type of weekend. Didn't really try to stress too much. And I also did catch up on some sleep because... um. Had a really long week as we hit a perfect, perfect baby. And that's going to be off the bottom of the wall. It's going to be a one hopper. And we're just going to stay at second. But what a clutch hit by Papa Cap compared to his first at bat in the last game. We had a really, really great at bat right there. We take the lead. One nothing. All right, here we are. Top of the fourth. We're now losing. Two to one. So it's a, li it's a little bit of a different change now. We're leading off here in the top of the fourth. We've got to look for something to crush. We get on top of the sinker, which was a strike. But let's see. He doesn't throw four seam or two seam. He throws sinker, cutter, change, and slider. So here we go. You, what got me really questioning stuff is that why hasn't Papa Cap been called up yet? That's like really weird. Why hasn't he been called up yet? And it's a little bit frustrating. I understand Joey Gallo. Maybe Norman Mazzara might be the DH for the squad. As we swing at an early slider. That most is most likely a ground up. I, I don't know why we swung at that. And I also don't know why we haven't been called up yet. Because think about it. Poppy Cap plays so hard. He plays the game with so much hustle. So much heart. And he hasn't even been called up yet. He might be in the majors right now. If he was with the Orioles. Which is the team he was drafted by. But for some reason, he just hasn't, like, really been called up. I don't know why. He honestly has the numbers to prove it. But uh, so I, I can't question the management. If they think it's a good decision to keep a 20-year-old down, I don't see why not. I mean, they had Ken Griffey Jr. up in the majors when he was, like, what, 19? So, I mean, if it's a smart move, it's a smart move. As we pull a sinker down the line, we're going to stretch it into a double, and we are going to be in there right there. We actually have a 3-2 lead, which I didn't even know about. It looks like we retook the lead. Hopefully, we keep it that way. As we take a look at a replay, look at that stick down the line. Poppy Cap keeping the hands in on that sinker. Get in that two-bagger. Uh, here we are in center field. I thought we were dh in today, but no. Looks like the coach has us out on the field. That's going to be hit to right center, and the right fielder is going to make the play. So there's our first uh, little bit of movement there in the outfield. So that's pretty nice. At least we get our legs warmed up, moving around and stuff. Here's Brad White. Four-seam slider change and two-seam. We still have a 3-2 lead, but we got to bump that up. Come on. Good, good eye. Way to hold up right there. Way to hold up. Let's see. Okay, we got a 3-2 lead. We're two for three. I think we have a double and a single. But let's see if we can move it even more. Oh, come on. I don't know how much we got under that one. Ugh, I can't believe we missed that. But... Two for four in the game. I mean, at least it's better than one hit. And it's also better than no hits as we lose this game as well. It's a little bit frustrating. But you know what? Let's play one more. All right, here we go. Third game of the video. We are 0-2. 
to start the season, and I'm going to be honest, I'm not really liking it so far. Andres Villanueva is starting for the Iowa Cubs. We're batting 500 on the season, and we can't move down there. We can only be moving up as a swing at high fastball which is something that we usually don't swing at. But like I said, I try to keep myself under control. Here we go, man. Come on, pop a cap. Good eye, good eye. Way to hold on that slider. Is it going to third? Everybody's actually moving around. There we go. Runners on first and second with, uh, it's not first and second, second and third as they walk us. Really? You've got to be kidding me, man. You're scared of the glitch in the game, aren't you? You're scared. Well, guess what? I'm not surprised either. Here we are stepping in with the bases loaded here, man. 0 for 0 in the game. We had one plate appearance, but of course, we got walks. So here we go. 4 0. Can we double that right here? Come on, Poppy Cap. Oh, good pitch. That looked like a slider. That actually looked like a slider. Villanova is still in the game. He could give up eight potential earned runs if he leaves a mistake pitch. Come on, Poppy Cap. Look for something to crush. Good eye. Good eye. Curveball is not your thing. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Practice swing, put the bat out. Come on, man. You got the bat, you got the arms up. Let's do it. Good eye, good eye. See, look at that. They're scared. They're scared. They, not one strike has been thrown. Not one strike has been thrown. Everything has been away. They know if they throw something inside, it's going to be crushed. Come on. And that's going to be hit into the gap, baby. Perfect, perfect. It's not going to be a grand salami, but it's definitely going to be extra bases. Could we getting all three RBIs? No, but we are going to be getting a two RBI double to make this game six nothing. It is now eight nothing. Albert Owsley, who just pitched yesterday, is pitching now. Here we go. Top of the fourth. Come on. If we could drive in another run, that would be great. Curveball low in the dirt. I, I know we've accounted for two of our eight runs today, but let's see if we can make it four for the ten. If we just look for something to crush, home run would be nice. Come on, Poppy Cap. You know you got the pitches. Come on. Oh! Oh! Is that not gone? That's really not even gone. Look how, look how good that was. How was that not good, man? Are you kidding me? I've seen... You've given me home runs on pitches like those before. It's unfortunate. That should have been a home run. What? What's the wind? It, okay, the wind might have to do with a little bit of that. So it's kind of understandable. Okay, never mind. I, I, I mean, I was mad. I thought, you know, why not? But uh, you know what? I understand. The wind does have some effect here. It was raining. Now it doesn't look like it is raining. But you know what? Here we are now in the top of the seventh. One for two. We could get one more hit in the game. We'd definitely be above 500. We're still at 500, I believe. Low and away fast. But okay, okay. Albert Owsley is still out there, man. I think we've had like two different starters that we've been facing today. Here we go, Poppy Cap. 0 for 1. Or 0 and 1. Good eye. See, they never want to throw us inside. Especially on that last at bat where we almost crushed one. They're definitely scared. Here we go. One on one count. Look for something to crush. Good eye. All fastballs all out of the zone, except the one that we did swing at, which was on the corner. So here we go. Two and one. Pop a cap. Crush it. Come on. Oh, that's gonna also going to be down the line. We've been pulling a lot of pitches, but hey, I'd rather take a hit down the line than just a fly up that doesn't even leave the park. There we go. Two hits on the game for Pop a cap. Now, 10 to nothing. It is the bottom of the eighth. Two outs here. Full count. Let's see if we can make the last play to end the inning. Here we go. Here's the pitch. We got to be moving back on that one. Ooh, that was actually hit pretty hard. But look at that. Poppy Cat makes the play. Look at him in center field. Making all the plays. Like, it's so easy. So easy. Here we go. Top of the ninth. We have a chance to uh, get a three-hit game. Barry Carr pitching. The glitch. Poppy Cap against Barry Carr. 10 nothing. Can we make it 11 nothing? Come on. Oh, that's going to be a sweeping curve. The shortstop's going to make one of the best plays I've ever seen. We get on top of a sweeping curve, man. Man, it's crazy how we just got under a fastball, and that was barely left. That barely left, actually. But then when we get barely on top of a sweeping curve, it's going to be a hard grounder. Can't do anything about it. Bottom of the ninth here. We could make the last play, and you know what? We're going to take it from the left fielder. Let's see if we can definitely take it, and we can't. But that's going to end the game with a 10-1 victory. Another multi-hit game by the glitch in the game. Finally won our first game. That's how good of a series we want to start out for Public Cap in 2021.
All right, guys, that was a great start to opening day here. Still waiting for that call up, as you guys know. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys today, if you guys enjoyed today's episode. And of course, subscribe to the channel. It is very much appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later.